Civil rights took center stage at our state's highest court today. The attorney general asked justices to overturn certain decisions and extend the state's anti-discrimination law to LGBTQ people. News aides Michelle DeSelms is at the live desk now breaking down these arguments. Michelle? Yeah, Brian and Sue, the law doesn't protect people who say they have been discriminated against based on their sexual orientation. That's because the word sex has been interpreted to only reference someone's gender. The case stems from an event center in Sturgis that declined to host a same sex wedding because it went against the owner's religious beliefs. This happened back in 2019. A hair removal business also refused to serve a transgender woman that same year. Attorney General Dana Nessel argued that denying members of the LGBTQ plus community these protections is causing harm. But lawyers to the event center say it's up to lawmakers, not the court, to say the law bars discrimination based on sexual orientation. This isn't the first case like this that Nestle has argued. Before she was AG, she persuaded a judge to overturn our state's ban on gay marriage, a decision the U.S. Supreme Court ultimately affirmed. Our Lansing sister station reports a ruling in today's case is expected later this year. Now, the state health department also announced today that it is forming a task force to help LGBTQ families who want to foster or adopt kids. They also settled a lawsuit filed by Catholic Charities West Michigan, who challenged the department's non-discrimination policy. Back to you.